I'm Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters I'm going to show you how to make a lava and water fountain. Now here it is right here and as you can see it goes way up here in this tower and uh, let me just climb up here and show you the top of it here. So it's way up here. Here we have an observation deck out here and then over here is the top of our fountain. I've used uh, glass blocks here uh, so you can see the lava and water flow better but you could use uh, stone or any type of block that uh, the lava would not burn up. Uh, as you can see behind there are some stone blocks there. Now these two streams are coexisting one of water and one of lava because they aren't actually touching each other they're going right up next to each other without touching each other. If they were to touch each other they would either form cobblestone or obsidian and then we would end up with two columns instead of a fountain. So let's just go back down here to the bottom real quick. And this actually, um, I have glass here so you can see the two columns and they go, it goes farther down and that's where they end right there. And if we go down to the very bottom here. I've kind of made a, a chandelier I guess out of this. I've got some redstone lights here and um, so the end of this is right here and it's the important thing is to get this bottom right and the top right because if you don't get the top right they run into each other. If you don't get the bottom right they overflow and run into each other and, and kind of make a mess. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, as you can see here, I've made a platform with uh, two troughs in it, one for water and one for lava. And if we go straight down here, we'll end up in this box made out of glass cubes. And there are uh, two columns here, one for the column of water and one for the column of lava. Now I'm going to go back up to the top. And you can see there are three blocks before the hole on this side and six blocks before the hole on this side. This is a side for water, this is a side for lava. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lava over here at the end of this trough and I'm going to put the water over here at the end of this trough. And they come right up to each other and they uh, do not touch. And so they drop the distance here. And so we'll come down here and see what happens. You can already see the water's going on the lava side at the very bottom. But when the lava hits there, it's changed into cobblestone. And uh, you have your fountain. And so, so you need to uh, dig a hole that's at least that deep to stop them, uh, which is it's three bollocks deep at least. Uh, I have it in glass so you can see it. Uh, you don't have to have it in glass. You could encase it in something else so you don't see these two blocks right here. If we go back up to the top here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here now and I am going to take out the lava and take out the water. We're going to let them go back down to the bottom there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna knock those two things out to just kind of reset the whole thing. Now to show you what happens if you don't have these the right distance, these do have to be three on this side and six on this side. I'm gonna put down a block here and a block here, and I'm gonna put the lava here. And I'm gonna let that drop, and then I'm gonna put the water over here. And you'll see that it turns that into cobblestone right there. Interestingly enough, one thing of lava does drop down, it looks like, and it turns into a block down there. So if you don't have it the right distance, it won't work. All right, so that's how you uh, set up the uh, water and lava fountain. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy playing Minecraft.
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.